The table Naruto sat at was obviously different from the others. Such as Sasuke, the son of the Uchiha patriarch. Hanada, the daughter of the head of Hyuga. Neji, nephew of Hyuga patriarch. Shikamaru Choji Ino, the Ino Shikacho of the new generation. Shino, the son of the patriarch of Abarame. Tooth is also a rising star of the Inazuka family. Everyone's status is somewhat prominent even in Konoha. But it is also because of these people, so in the eyes of outsiders, Shao Sakura, sitting at this table with Shao Li every day, seems a bit out of place. They also wanted to sit at a table with Naruto. In addition to thanking Naruto, it is also a task given by my family. But if you can't even sit at a table, how can you complete the task arranged by the family? Naruto arranged this way purely because these people are the future Konoha 12 Shaokiang, including Naruto in C. It's just that now they obviously can't be called Shaokiang anymore. Their strength is comparable even to the average Jonin. After Naruto sat down, he subconsciously raised the cup in his hand. Everyone, thank you very much. Sasuke interrupted Naruto impatiently. It's just a meal. Why are you talking like that? Don't forget to finish all the dishes my mother brought, or I won't be able to get around you. Naruto was taken aback, and then put down the cup as well. It's my fault. Everyone hurry up and eat, you should be hungry after waiting for so long. Naruto was the first to pick up the chopsticks, and reached out to pick up the delicacies specially prepared by Makoto. The atmosphere of the dinner party just now made Naruto suddenly in a trance, as if he had returned to the banquet in his previous life. This sense of deja vu made Naruto subconsciously want to raise his glass and say something. Completely forgetting that the glasses in their hands were just drinks, they were all just a bunch of kids. With Naruto going first, the others picked up chopsticks one after another. Sasuke sat across from Naruto, staring at Naruto, as if he was supervising Naruto. Chatting at the dinner table soon began in full swing. Ino sits on Naruto's left, constantly feeding Naruto with various meals. The little Sakura on the other side is also not to be outdone. The eyes of the two collided immediately, and fierce sparks burst out. Naruto felt like he was caught between the two of them, feeling that he was really unlucky. Taking advantage of the two not paying attention, he quickly changed places with Choji. It's really intense. Seeing Naruto's slightly embarrassed look, Shikamaru couldn't help but said with a smile. Is it troublesome to be too popular sometimes? Naruto smiled helplessly. Didn't you see it all? Picking up the cup and touching Shikamaru, Naruto said with emotion. After today, we are all one year older, and we are one step closer to becoming a real ninja. Hearing this, Shikamaru who was drinking his drink almost spit out. When I think of the standard of ninjas that Naruto thinks, I feel the first two reasons. If it is really according to Naruto's standards, I am afraid that there are not many ninjas in the entire ninja world who are qualified. The corner of Shikamaru's mouth twitched, resisting the thought of explaining to Naruto. It doesn't make sense anyway. What are your plans these days? Shikamaru changed the subject a bit. It's a rare festival anyway, do you have any plans? Naruto smiled. If there is any plan, it is nothing more than to live every day step by step. Shikamaru didn't think much of it, and said with a smile. Anyway, a happy new year is all my blessings. Naruto said with a smile, it's too early to say that. It's still a few hours from today. The sun had just set at this point. The sky had just darkened. The streets are brightly lit, like daytime. Naruto's backyard is also very bright. Fang came over curiously. What are you talking about? Naruto said with a smile. Nothing, just chatting. At this time, a girl came to the center, holding a microphone in her hand. Looking at her, Naruto vaguely remembered that her name was Mika, and she was a lively and cheerful girl. Everyone, in this rare festival, it is also fate that everyone can gather together. Such a beautiful night, if it's just eating and chatting, it's too wasteful. So I suggest that everyone who wants to show off their strengths can stand up and perform. Since this proposal was made by me, I will take the lead. A blue bird, I hope everyone will like it, soon. A fast-paced, passionate song was performed very well by Mika. When it was over, everyone applauded, singing so well, one more. Ha ha ha, as expected of Magia, she sings beautifully. Who will come next? 
Don't just sing, since it's a show of talent, it's no fun to just sing. Soon. The atmosphere became lively. Everyone laughed and made noise, and time passed by bit by bit in this happy atmosphere. Everyone had a happy smile on their face. Even Shikamaru, who finds it troublesome, booed from time to time and was infected by the atmosphere of the scene. Finally. New Year's Eve brings. Everyone sat in a circle, waiting for the arrival of the new year. The moment of New Year's Eve. A gigantic fireworks exploded in the sky. The bright fireworks illuminate the darkness, and also illuminate the smiles on everyone's faces. Happy New Year. Everyone talked and laughed in unison. At this moment, it is full of happiness, at this time. Naruto got up and walked outside. To breathe? Take me one. Shikamaru followed immediately. Naruto shook his head and said. No, I'm going to practice. Shikamaru's footsteps froze in place. Everyone's smiles froze on their faces. Surprised eyes fell on Naruto. Shikamaru asked in bewilderment. No, what did you just say? I didn't catch it. Naruto said patiently. I said I'm going to practice. If you haven't eaten enough, just keep eating. I have prepared a lot of food, and it must be enough. Shikamaru grabs Naruto. I'm not concerned about the food. You, how are you? Shikamaru didn't know what to say for a moment. It's only the first day of the new year. Who goes to practice on the first day of the new year? This is just the beginning of the Chinese new year. Naruto turned his head in surprise. Isn't the year over? Now that the year is over, naturally we should go through every day step by step. Shikamaru's mouth twitched. I didn't expect that what Naruto meant by step by step. Shikamaru thought he was resting with everyone for a few days. I didn't expect it to start in the first day of junior high school. Shikamaru unknowingly let go of his hand, he wanted to stop Naruto, but he didn't know how to stop him. After all, it is their freedom to do whatever they want. Said with a puzzled tooth. Isn't today the first day of junior high school? Take a good rest on the first day of junior high school. I'm ready to rest until the seventh day. If it is the usual Chinese New Year, before the fifteenth day of the first lunar month, don't want to see the teeth to practice. Choji also nodded in agreement. That's right, the annual spring festival, if you don't rest for a few days, how can you show the gold content of the spring festival? Shino said silently. Even if you want to practice, you shouldn't go now, right? It's just past New Year's Eve. Ino stepped forward and grabbed Naruto. Yes, Mr. Naruto, if you want to practice, let's do it in two days, then we will practice together. Everyone was puzzled that Naruto was going to practice. This is New Year's Day. Who didn't stay at home on New Year's Day, but went out to practice instead? This is too strange. This is the annual spring festival. Isn't it a normal operation to rest until the seventh day? Who doesn't take advantage of the spring festival to relax? Little Sakura said worriedly. Naruto kun, even if you want to practice, wait until daytime. It's too dark outside now, I can't see much, and the effect of cultivation is not good. Wait until tomorrow, I will accompany you to practice together, okay? Naruto shook his head and said, Cultivation is a matter of my own will, and I don't need someone to accompany me. Since you haven't finished enjoying the New Year's atmosphere, you can continue. There must be enough food, just go to the kitchen and get it if you want to eat. Just at this time, Naruto's avatars came out with a large number of meatballs of various colors, obviously as everyone's dessert. Naruto said seriously. Eat first, I will go to repair first. As he said that, under the watchful eyes of everyone, Naruto instantly disappeared in place. Sasuke saw that Naruto was gone, turned around and left. Sasuke came here, completely according to his mother's request. Now that Naruto is gone, he has no reason to stay any longer. And. How could Sasuke, who considers himself Naruto's rival, be indifferent to Naruto's actions? Wanted to sneak away. Don't think that you are the only one who can practice. Just wait and see, Naruto. I am as hard as you are, and I must surpass you. Sasuke swore in his heart. Sasuke's departure went unnoticed. At this moment, everyone was in a state of bewilderment. Naruto left as soon as he said that, making them suddenly a little dazed. After all, they are here only because of Naruto. As a result, Naruto left. Do they still have a reason to stay here? 
Tasty. A sudden sound woke everyone up. When they looked back, they saw that Choji was enjoying himself with a handful of balls in his hands. Choji doesn't care so much, as long as there is food, he is very happy. Shikamaru scratched his head helplessly. Since Naruto is ready, everyone should not waste it. Really, it's still going its own way. But this is also a feature of Naruto. If Naruto is the same as ordinary people, will everyone still be around Naruto? Naturally it is impossible, Shikamaru thought helplessly. With a sense of absurdity, everyone ate all the meatballs prepared by Naruto, and then went home. Then, when I got home, I fell asleep. Facing the surprised eyes of the elders, he ignored them. Even if they are energetic, they feel mentally exhausted after playing around all night. Moreover, Naruto's behavior made their mental heads stagnate suddenly, otherwise they would not be able to support it. Now, they just feel tired. Both body and mind. The sky brightened. In the forest near Konoha village. Orochimaru is here again. This time. Orochimaru not only carries a pocket, but also two selected excellent adapters of the curse seal. They are Jirobo and Kitamaru respectively. Looking at the peaceful Konoha in the distance, Insemaru watched with a blank expression. Behind him, Do said to the two with a serious face. This is your first mission. If you don't perform well, I think you should know what will happen to you. Jirobo and Kitamaru immediately thought of the scene when they received the curse seal, and the two shuddered involuntarily. Looking at the reactions of the two, Do was very satisfied. But the face is still very serious. Pay attention to any signs of disturbance, and absolutely do not disturb Yi Anbu and the patrolling personnel. Do you remember who the target is this time? Jirobo was taken aback. It never occurred to Do to ask such a question suddenly. It was too sudden, causing Hirobo's mind to go blank and his face to be bewildered. Arkitamaru is smarter. It is Konoha's Nine Tails Jinchuriki, Uzumaki Naruto. Pocket continued. What are the characteristics of Uzumaki Naruto? Kitamaru said immediately. Blonde hair, blue pupils, very strong. That's what he said, but Kitamaru was very unremitting in his heart. One is only six years old, oh, it's Chinese New Year, and now he's seven wastes. A child who is only seven years old, even if he is very powerful, how can he be so powerful? Orochimaru sama is really worrying too much. I'll deal with this kind of brat alone. Kitamaru thought in his heart, so naturally he didn't dare to say it. He doesn't want to die yet. Do nodded slowly and said. Go. Be alert to the surrounding situation, and report to us immediately if there is any situation. Yes. The two responded, and then the figure disappeared in a flash. Turning around and lowering his head, he said to Orochimaru. Lord Orochimaru, let's go. Naruto's usual work and rest schedule is very meticulous, and basically no flaws can be found. This time Konoha has been preparing for the spring festival for a month, even Naruto must be very lax now. This is a good time for us to attack. Orochimaru nodded silently. You are right, no one would have thought that I would come here at this time. I really want to see Naruto's panicked face, it must be very nice. Orochimaru imagined the scene of seeing Naruto next. And the more he thought about it, the more excited he became, and couldn't help sticking out his tongue and licking his lips. The two set off quickly. Under the leadership of the spy, the two came to Naruto's house without anyone knowing it. At this time, the mess in the backyard of Naruto's house has been cleaned up by the avatars. The whole house was quiet, and there was no movement. Dodo silently nodded to Orochimaru, then the figure flashed and came to the window. Through the window, Chen carefully checked the situation inside. Then, I saw several Naruto's busy in the room. Pu frowned suddenly. Doppelganger. Do immediately realized something was wrong. After careful observation, Do found that these were all shadow clone, and Naruto's body was not there. Kabuki returned to Orochimaru immediately. Master Orochimaru, there is only Naruto's shadow clone in the room, and Naruto's body is not there. Orochimaru frowned suddenly. Where did you go when you were not at home on the first day of the new year? Do also looked bewildered. Maybe you went out to visit? Orochimaru looked at Kabuki immediately, as if looking at a mentally handicapped person. Have you ever met anyone who visits on the first day of the new year? Do also knew that he had asked a stupid question. 
at the earliest, it was on the second day of the Lunar New Year that I started fleeing relatives. And for an orphan like Naruto, where did his relatives ask him to visit? Orochimaru frowned. Where can Naruto go? Deliberately want to sneak into the house and attack Naruto when he comes back. But there is Naruto's shadow clone in the room. They will only startle the snake when they go in. Now it seems that it is still necessary to find the location of Naruto. Just when the two were worried about where to find Naruto, Kitamaru, who was arranged by them to guard the surroundings, ran over. There was still a hint of bewilderment on his face. Seeing Kitamaru approaching, Orochimaru frowned immediately. Didn't it tell you to be alert? What happened? Was it discovered by Anbu of Konoha? I didn't expect that what I brought here turned out to be too trash. Killing intent swayed from Orochimaru's body, Kitamaru immediately shivered, knelt down on one knee, and described what he had just seen. My lord, I found Naruto. Hearing this, Orochimaru immediately withdrew the killing intent from his body. What's going on? Tell me in detail. Kitamaru swallowed, fear still remaining in his eyes. Orochimaru's killing intent is really terrifying. Kitamaru didn't dare to neglect, and said hastily. Well, when Jirobo and I were guarding the surroundings, we saw someone who looked like a target at a training ground. After taking a closer look, it was the target Uzumaki Naruto. Blonde hair, blue eyes, and good strength, fixed as the goal. Orochimaru said in surprise. Isn't today the first day of the Lunar New Year? He's not staying at home. Why did he go to practice? Kitamaru didn't know how to answer. I do not know. Orochimaru rolled his eyes. I didn't ask you. Do was also surprised. Are you reading it wrong? After all, Uzumaki Naruto isn't the only one with blonde hair. There are so many Konoha people, it's normal to have similar appearances. Kitamaru shook his head repeatedly and said, This subordinate must have read it right, it is indeed the target vortex Naruto. At least that strength is certainly beyond what an ordinary child can achieve. Thinking of the boulder that Naruto chopped up like tofu, Kitamaru couldn't help swallowing. Even though Kitamaru is very confident in his spider sticky gold, but in the face of Naruto's strength, he doesn't dare to confront Naruto head on. It is Naruto's performance is too relaxed and freehand. After a while, I know that it is probably Naruto. But without seeing it with my own eyes, I can't draw conclusions directly. My lord, let's go and have a look first, Naruto is not here anyway. Orochimaru thought so too. Anyway, they have to find Naruto first. Walk. Kitamaru immediately led the way. The three quickly left Konoha and came to a training ground outside Konoha. I found Jirobo who stayed here to monitor. Hiding behind the bushes, he looked at the training ground and found that it was really Naruto, and he was stunned. No, why is he really practicing? It's only the first day of the new year, isn't he too exaggerated? Why don't you rest well at home on the first day of the lunar new year, and come out to practice instead? Brain show funny, right? Is this something humans can do? Orochimaru was also dumbfounded. Didn't you say that New Year's Day is a legal holiday? Why are you still practicing here? Do you despise legal holidays? No matter what Orochimaru complained in his heart, it is an indisputable fact that Naruto is practicing at this moment. After all, they saw it with their own eyes, unless they were under illusion. Do looked bewildered at this moment. Master Orochimaru, what should we do now? Orochimaru frowned and said, how can I say that today is also the first day of the Lunar New Year? Naruto must have nowhere to go, so he came out to practice. Don't forget he's an orphan. When I listened to it, I immediately felt that Orochimaru was thinking deeply. Then what shall we do? Wait. Orochimaru nodded. Wait. Wait for Naruto to reveal the opening. Although there are no relatives, Naruto will definitely have someone to visit. Naruto will definitely let his guard down when the time comes. That's our chance. Be sure to concentrate and never miss this great opportunity. When he rests, that's when I get his body. The more Orochimaru thought about it, the more excited he became, his eyes lit up. The four hid in the bushes and watched Naruto with bated breath. At the same time, watch out for possible patrols and Anbu. Orochimaru knew that for such an important task as Naruto, the third generation would definitely arrange people to monitor and watch it nearby. 
and the location of these two Anbu has been discovered by Orochi. Although he was once defeated by Naruto, he is still one of Sanin anyway. Orochimaru would be Sanin in vain if Anbu couldn't find it. The four of them waited patiently. Wait until the sky is dark. Why doesn't he stop? Surprised by the king's training ground, I looked at Naruto who didn't intend to stop at all, and didn't feel tired at all. Is his body made of iron? Why doesn't he rest once? And it's getting dark, is he still practicing? Is he not planning to go back? Orochimaru said with a sullen face. Shut up and wait. Wait for him to show his flaws. Pu immediately shut his mouth. Kitamaru and Jirobo didn't dare to speak at all. Because they can feel it, because of the vague killing intent emanating from their bodies. It was as piercing as ice, and the skin of the two felt tingling. Obviously, Orochimaru was not in a good mood. The four continued to stare silently, until the sun goes down and the moon rises. Then the moon sets and the sun rises, staying up all night is nothing to the four of them. After all, the strength of the four of them is not bad, and as ninjas, staying up all night is nothing at all. But looking at the figures in the training ground, the four of them only had deep doubts in their minds. Isn't he really feeling tired? Jirobo couldn't help asking. Kitamaru quickly covered Hirobo's mouth. Immediately turning his head, he saw Orochimaru's extremely cold eyes. Immediately, the two of them just felt like falling into an ice cellar, frozen in place. Orochimaru slowly retracted his gaze and continued to stare at Naruto. Jirobo and Kitamaru secretly let out a sigh of relief. At that moment, they thought they were dead. The two dared not speak, and stared at Naruto with wide eyes. Withdrawing his gaze, Orochimaru was not at peace. Looking at Naruto's restless figure, Orochimaru's heart was full of fire. What a strong body. I must get it. The sun rises slowly from the horizon, along the eternal track, across the sky and falls to the west. Orochimaru's eyes fixed on Naruto, full of shock and puzzlement. Not only Orochimaru, but Toku is also full of sluggishness. As for Kitamaru and Jirobo, they were dispatched to warn. After all, they are within the scope of Konoha, and Konoha's ninjas will always appear on patrol, not to mention that Naruto is always guarded by Anbu. Do's sluggish eyes looked through the lenses, showing the unacceptable in his heart. How the hell did he do it? From the first day of junior high school to now, I haven't seen him take a break. Even if the body is made of iron, it shouldn't be able to bear it, right? Yet Orochimaru's eyes sparkled. That's it. The stronger Naruto's body is, the better for me. As long as I think of having such a young body full of potential and vitality, I am so excited that I can't help myself. Unfortunately, now is not the time. I want to see how long Naruto can last. Orochimaru licked his lips excitedly. From the first day to the second day. Under the close supervision of Orochimaru and others, Naruto has been vigorously carrying out various cultivations. Sometimes it's the body flicker technique, sometimes it's the shuriken technique, sometimes it's the rasengan, and sometimes it's the demolition technique. Orochimaru became more and more excited as Naruto showed more and more strength. But Do was completely shocked to the point of stupidity. Even if I have collected all kinds of information about Naruto before I go out, but who has never seen Naruto with his own eyes, how could he know how strong Naruto is? Even if Do had witnessed Orochimaru being beaten back in a state of embarrassment, it was difficult to have a substantive feeling. Can now. Just watching Naruto's practice, Do already has a very obvious understanding of Naruto's strength. That is invincible. Although he looks like a child who is only seven years old, his strength has surpassed too many adults. The sun goes down and the moon goes up. The bright moonlight shone on the open space of the training ground. Orochimaru and Do looked at Naruto who was practicing diligently under the moonlight, and fell silent. Kitamaru and Jirobo returned quietly. Master Orochimaru, Konoha's Anbu has just passed by except for the two who were monitoring the target. According to Do's information, there may be no need to worry about another batch of Anbu appearing this night. Orochimaru nodded, without speaking. His eyes still didn't move away from Naruto's body. Turning around, he said silently, Still be careful. The target's identity is special. With third generation's prudence, it is possible to send more people to patrol at any time to avoid accidents. 
After all, Naruto is not strictly in Hachan village right now. Jirobo and Kitamaru immediately nodded solemnly. Then Jirobo looked at Naruto under the moonlight and said in amazement. Is he still practicing, it's really unbelievable. It is indeed the body that Mr. Orochimaru likes. It really deserves our sacrifice. Looking at Naruto with a brick, he said with complicated eyes. Don't guess what Master Orochimaru is thinking. Startled, Jirobo lowered his head and said. It's my subordinate's negligence, Lord Orochimaru please punish me. Orochimaru said lightly. Shut up. Jirobo lowered his head even lower. Yes, because of snakes, because of people. Kitamaru pouted at Jirobo, and then the two backed away quietly, leaving the bush. They intend to remain on the alert lest they unwittingly annoy the moody Orochimaru. After watching the two leave, he looked thoughtfully at Anbu who was hiding in the distance. I have to say that the two Anbus are not ordinary people, they can support this level, and they don't seem to be resting at all. Orochimaru nodded, noncommittal, he doesn't care about Anbu now. Compared to Naruto's body, there is nothing attractive about Orochimaru. What Do didn't know was that the two Anbu were also used to it. Naruto often practiced at night, and he practiced for several days. At first they were not used to it, but as time passed, they couldn't get used to it if they wanted to. Don't talk anymore, if you talk too much, you will cry. The night disappears in silence. Big year. Sunrise. A dark shadow appeared under Do's eyelids. I didn't close my eyes for two days and two nights, even if I was a little tired all night. But only slightly tired. When performing tasks, we often face more difficult and difficult situations than we do now. Is it just monitoring a person, and there is still no target to move the position, it is nothing to the bag. Just be careful of Konoha's patrolling forces, and Anbu that may appear at any time is more troublesome. As for Orochimaru, as a researcher who has been obsessed with research all year round, it is common for him to stay up for only two days. Orochimaru didn't feel the slightest bit. Kitamaru and Jirobo hid in the shade of another hidden tree. Squatting on a branch, using the dense leaves to cover the figure. The two were a little bored. I don't know how long it will last. Jirobo said somewhat helplessly. Kitamaru rolled his eyes and said. You'd better talk less, so as not to make too many mistakes. Think about how many times you've said it wrong. If things go on like this, I won't be surprised when Orochimaru-sama disposes of you. Hirobo's face suddenly turned green, and he closed his mouth tightly and stopped talking. Kitamaru looked at Naruto in the distance through the gaps in the leaves, and said in amazement. It's really a lot of experience. Such intense cultivation can last for so long. I don't know if it's because he is the Jinchuriki of Nine Tails, or because he has such strength. If it's the latter, I'm afraid this boy will become a very terrifying existence when he grows up. Fortunately, Lord Orochimaru discovered him in time. When he becomes Lord Orochimaru's strength, we will definitely be able to go to the next level by following Lord Orochimaru. When Jirobo heard this, he nodded repeatedly. You're right. Kitamaru waved his hand and said. Okay. Stop chatting here, be careful. At six o'clock, a team of patrolling personnel appeared, pay attention to concealment. Boom. A loud noise attracted the attention of everyone nearby. All eyes focused on Naruto who made a loud noise in the practice field. I saw a very deep round pit already appeared on the practice field. The edge of the pothole is extremely smooth, but the pothole is bottomless, like a bottomless abyss. Orochimaru's eyes lit up. This control, this explosive power. It's amazing. I really want to get his body right now. Unfortunately, it's not the time yet. He hasn't shown signs of fatigue yet and it's easy to scare the snake when he appears at this time. With his speed, I'm afraid my sneak attack on Song will be useless. I still need to wait patiently. Orochimaru was eager to try, but had to suppress his excitement. Anbu's people glanced at it, and then withdrew their gaze. They have been through this situation many times. Already used to it. Also used to be the attracted patrol personnel. They saw that it was Naruto who made the noise and left immediately. Because there is no point in continuing the investigation. Who in Konoha doesn't know that Naruto's practice makes a lot of noise? Especially when he was practicing blasting, Naruto was not the only one playing blasting. 
He also took the whole class to practice explosions together. The forest of Konoha was filled with the sound of various explosions. It also made the patrol's nerves very tense at the beginning. But now, when they heard the explosion, their first reaction was not that Konoha was invaded, but that some kid was practicing blasting again. Under Orochimaru's great anticipation, the third grade of junior high school also passed by quickly. Fourth day. The dark circles under the pockets are slightly thicker. Orochimaru remained the same. Jirobo already lowered his head from time to time, and couldn't hold on any longer. Kitamaru is not much better, but at least he can persist. As for Naruto who was being monitored by them, he was still full of energy. Today Naruto is practicing gentle fist. They spent the day watching countless palm prints appear in front of Naruto. Fifth day. Naruto practiced Wanji and Gizong. Sixth day. Naruto is practicing. Unconsciously. The time has come to the fifteenth day of the first lunar month. Naruto is still training. Orochimaru and the others are still hiding in the bushes. Do's eyes were in a trance, and his body was shaking. Kitamaru and Jirobo couldn't even open their eyes. Even Orochimaru had dark circles under his eyes at this moment, mentally sleepy to the limit. Master Orochimaru, shall we continue? Asked in a trance. If we continue, I'm afraid we will become a burden to adults. Orochimaru glanced back at them. Seeing the fatigue of the three of them, although he was full of unwillingness, he knew it was time to make a decision. Retreat. Orochimaru's voice was full of sighs. Naruto's alluring body is clearly in front of him, but Orochimaru can't get it. This feeling of not being able to get what he wanted deeply tormented Orochimaru. Orochimaru almost lost his mind and wanted to go up to test it. Fortunately, Orochimaru held back. Orochimaru also knows that his current state is very bad, and if he continues, he will only put himself in a disadvantageous situation. It's better to go back and regroup, monitor Naruto all the time, and then find a suitable opportunity to take away Naruto's body bar. Wanting to survive Naruto like this, because the snake is no longer a luxury. It is impossible. Is it the power of the nine tails and the power of the vortex? It's so full of energy that it makes people despair. Orochimaru took one last look at Naruto, and then quietly withdrew, full of resignation. What Orochimaru didn't notice, however. After they left, Naruto stopped practicing, and set his eyes on the hiding place of Orochimaru and others. Naruto has already discovered the traces of Orochimaru and others. With observation hockey, it is obviously impossible to hide from Naruto. However Orochimaru at all. Did not know this. The moment they appeared, their tracks had already been firmly grasped by Naruto. Did it last only 15 days? I thought I could last longer. Naruto was a little surprised by Orochimaru's departure. Naruto also thought that Orochimaru, being the ultimate old silver coin, would last longer. As a result, within half a month, I couldn't hold on anymore. As a qualified ninja, you must endure things that ordinary people cannot bear. Orochimaru is not enough, it really disappoints me. I thought the legendary Sanin would be better than the people in the village. Ding. Involution succeeded. You have successfully obtained 100 involution points. Close black lens bracket. Naruto. These days, to tell the truth would still be ridiculed. And it's its own system. Naruto shook his head, sighed helplessly, and then continued to practice. The cultivation has not been completed yet, Naruto will naturally not give up because of Orochimaru's departure. But looking at accumulating a large amount of involution points again, Naruto felt that it was time to go back and draw the lottery. Another dreary night ended. It's the 16th day of the first lunar month. Naruto got up early in the morning and gave instructions to the system directly in his head. System, get an award. The familiar system roulette appeared, and it spun rapidly. Three seconds later, the roulette stopped, and the blinking needle steadily pointed at an area. Ding. Obtain medical ninjutsu. Through medical ninjutsu, you can treat various internal and external injuries. Close black lens bracket. It made up for my shortcomings. Naruto squeezed his chin. At least if you get injured in the future, you don't have to go to a medical ninja. I'll do it myself. First hand over the task to everyone. Naruto closed his eyes, and connected to the remote clone brigade. 
in a remote canyon in the land of fire. Under the crashing waterfall, three figures sitting cross-legged on the rocks opened their eyes. Upon closer inspection, these three people look exactly the same, but you can see that they have a slight difference from the subtleties. A slight difference in temperament. These three people are the three captains of Naruto's Avatar Brigade. Number two and number three came to the stone of Captain Number One in one flash. Two said with a shrug. Again, this time medical ninjutsu. As usual, set a small goal first. Three immediately raised his hands and shouted. Flesh and bones of the living dead. Number one and number two rolled their eyes and said. That's impossible, Chakra's abilities aren't that strong. Or, are you planning to change your life for another like Chio? Number three withdrew his hand immediately, and said in frustration. I thought it was a good idea. Number three was purely fascinated by the sword immortal last time. I thought I was in the world of cultivating immortals. Wake up. This is the ninja world. Number one ignored number three's depressed look and said. When it comes to medical ninjutsu, Tsunade is absolutely unavoidable in the ninja world. If you can reach the realm of Tsunade, you will be considered pretty good in the ninja world. But, number one looked at number two and number three, and said seriously. We are not ordinary people and we must not do ordinary things. So, it must not be our limit, number two said thoughtfully. Medical treatment is not a simple matter. It's like an ordinary wound. If it is not treated in time and the wound becomes infected, it may range from fever for a few days to severe infection and death. So, the first step is to be able to quickly and perfectly deal with all trauma in time to avoid this situation from happening. In fact, with Naruto's system, skin trauma can basically recover instantly. Treating trauma is of little use to Naruto itself. Number one's eyes immediately fell on number two's body. Go on. Number two continued. After trauma, there is internal injury, that is, internal organ rupture, or internal bleeding and so on. If this situation is not dealt with in time, you may die on the spot, so it is very important to be treated quickly. Number one nodded in agreement. Number three raised his head and asked curiously. After that, the external and internal injuries have been healed, what should I do next? Number two said of course, of course it's orthopedics. When number three heard this, he suddenly said excitedly. Is it the kind of orthopedics I thought, etc. Number three suddenly came back to his senses, and said in doubt. Aren't we talking about medical ninjutsu? What does that have to do with that? Could it be? Number three showed a surprised expression. Are you planning to do something to Jean? Number one and number two rolled their eyes, and number one said speechlessly. You better keep your mouth shut. Number three suddenly felt very wrong. I just want to help. Number two patted number three on the shoulder and said perfunctorily. We all know, let's play. Number three squatted down on the ground and drew circles in a grieved manner. Number two ignored it, but turned around and started a serious discussion with number one. Orthopedic treatment is also very important. In addition to basic fractures, there are various orthopedic diseases, such as osteoporosis, bone hyperplasia and so on. There are also cases of congenital deformities in the body, and knowledge in this area also needs to be used. Number one nodded repeatedly. What about after the bones? Then the neurological issues. Number two said of course. Of course, to go further, it is natural to touch the nerves. Nerves are related to all aspects of our human body and are very important body organs. Number one pinched his chin and said. Looks like I'm going to prepare a human anatomy map. After all, it is necessary to understand all aspects of the human body in detail. There is no such thing in the memory of the main body. Number three also slowed down at this time, he said indifferently. Isn't that simple? When the time comes, go find a few bandits and robbers, and ask them to provide technical support. Number one is happy with the word technical support proposed by number three. You are right, I will leave this matter to you, and then I will need a very detailed dissection map. You should be able to complete this task, right? Number three didn't expect that he would get himself a big job with just a casual sentence, so he opened his mouth immediately. But before he could say the words of refusal, number one put his hand on number three's shoulder, and approached number three with a smile to block his words. Since you proposed it, it is naturally up to you to complete it. What? 
Do you have any other opinions? Looking at number one's smiling face, number three instinctively felt a sense of danger. Number three swallowed secretly, nodded hurriedly and said. I understand, I understand. Number two couldn't help but rolled his eyes when he saw the farce between the two. Okay. I will cooperate with number three in this matter when the time comes, otherwise, with his rough character, I wouldn't trust the anatomy diagram he drew. One thinks so too. Anyway, I don't need to come. Then I will leave this matter to you. Now internal injuries, trauma, orthopedics and neurology have all been identified as the next targets. Is there any goal that can be planned after that? Number one looked at number two and asked. As for number three, just ignore it. Even number three had put forward valuable opinions on flying ninjutsu before. But in this medical ninjutsu, number three doesn't have much say. Number two said of course, of course, like stitching up a severed limb. This kind of treatment involving all aspects is often time consuming and labor intensive. After all, you need to stitch the broken muscles, blood vessels, bones, nerves, etc. back together bit by bit. If it is an ordinary operation, it will take at least several hours, or even longer. But in the ninja world, there are medical ninjutsu, both in terms of manipulative ability and the speed of healing of joints, it is faster. This will undoubtedly greatly reduce the treatment time. And with the power of chakra, some problems can be solved. Such as inappropriate situations, number one said thoughtfully. You mean, even if Yijing's hands and feet have been broken for several years, as long as we cultivate to the level you mentioned, we can find someone's arm and reattach it to him? Number two nodded. That's right, that's what it means. Number one nodded and said, That's really convenient. Number three tilted his head and asked, Will it be gone next? Number two said immediately, How is it possible? Of course. Number three's eyes widened. Besides, number two nodded. This is also the last. I think medical ninjutsu can be used to treat various incurable diseases, such as cancer. At that time, as long as no one dies for a day or two, anyone can be rescued. Number two said in high spirits. At this moment, the image of number two became taller. Number one and number three looked up at number two and made exclamations of wonder. Oh, number one came back to his senses and said, Now that it's been decided, let's start and tell the main body by the way. Subsequently, the three captains summoned all clones separately and then told everyone their decision. By the way, he also informed Konoha's body of this situation. Naruto opened his eyes with a strange look. Good guy, you want to treat terminal illnesses? I'm afraid even Tsunade doesn't have the ability? But let's forget about going out to catch robbers and bandits. Human body anatomy diagram or something, I'll go find the information and have a look, okay? It saves you from going out, and may expose your position. Then the gain outweighs the loss. Naruto did what he thought, walked out of the house, and headed for Konoha Hospital. The purpose is naturally for the detailed information of the human body anatomy map. When he arrived at the hospital, Naruto also saw the previous owner of the meatball shop. It's just that the former boss turned his head and left after seeing Naruto. Looking at the former ball shop owner who fled in a hurry, Naruto felt very wrong. I didn't use illegal means, as for. However, this feeling quickly dissipated. After all, in Naruto's view, the owner of the factor store is just an insignificant little person. Although most of Naruto's wealth is supported by the meatball shop, the competition with the ball shop owner makes it very helpful for Naruto to quickly gather fame. But today is not what it used to be. The owner of the meatball shop is no longer on the same track as Naruto. After all, the owner of the meatball shop is just an ordinary person. When I came to the hospital, I asked where the medical books were placed. The nurse who was questioned looked curious. What are you looking for with those books? Nurses know Naruto. In other words, Konoha doesn't know about Naruto, but there are only a few of them. The glorious achievements in just a few months have made Naruto, who is in peacetime, extremely dazzling in the village. The most prominent among them is naturally the story of Naruto breaking through Orochimaru's disguise and driving Orochimaru away. Apart from other things, the title of one of the Orochimaru Sanin is still very well recognized by the people of Konoha. The former Sanin was considered a hero of Konoha during the war, and he was also a direct disciple of Third Hokage. 
Even though Orochimaru has defected, the people in the Sleepy Leaves also recognize Orochimaru's strength very much. And Naruto was able to drive away Orochimaru, one of the legendary Sanin. This record is enough to make all Konoha people want to know about Naruto. And the more you know, the more you understand how powerful Naruto is. Facing the nurse's question, Naruto replied, I want to learn medical ninjutsu, but there are no related books in school. The nurse said with a smile, Don't you kids like those powerful ninjutsu? Why do you still want to learn medical ninjutsu? In your opinion, don't medical ninjas all hide behind? Naruto immediately said righteously, How is it possible? Don't you know the importance of medical ninjas, Miss Nurse? Master Tsunade once proposed that each team be equipped with a medical ninja, which shows the importance of medical ninjas. On the battlefield, ninjas were injured and couldn't retreat in time, so they could only be ruthlessly abandoned in the past. But with medical ninjas, many injured ninjas have been rescued even on the front line. This is enough to show the importance of medical ninjas. And if you want to become a qualified ninja, even if you don't have Grandmaster Medical Ninjutsu, you should learn the corresponding knowledge. In this way, you can also tell whether it is a friendly army who is treating you, or a spy who has been hiding before. The nurse was dumbfounded. She just asked casually, but she didn't expect Naruto to say such a big deal. However, thinking about it carefully, I found that what Naruto said was not unreasonable. It goes without saying that medical ninjas play an important role in the team. With medical ninjas, the team is equivalent to having a second life, and the chances of surviving on the battlefield are greatly improved. And the act of mastering relevant knowledge and distinguishing medical ninjutsu mentioned by Naruto cannot be said to be too worrying. After all, pretending to be a medical ninja and approaching them, and then taking the opportunity to treat them, secretly assassinating them is obviously even more unpredictable. As for why Naruto said that, it was because he thought of Orochimaru's hands being sealed by the third generation in the original book, and then he went to Naruto for treatment. At first Orochimaru stood in front of Tsunade almost defenseless, waiting for Tsunade's treatment. If it wasn't for the same Grandmaster's medical ninjutsu to stop him, I'm afraid Orochimaru would have to shed several layers of skin even if he didn't die. The nurse said seriously. You're right, I was thinking too superficially. Since you want to study, I won't stop you. Go straight on this road, then turn right and take the first corner. The nurse explained in detail the room where the medical books were located. After listening carefully, Naruto said thankfully. Thank you, Miss Nurse. The nurse said with a smile. Hurry up, you must become an excellent medical ninja. Naruto nodded seriously. I will definitely work hard. In the medical treatment, he found the room where the medical books are hidden deep, that is, the medical library, and then Naruto sat for a whole day. And the knowledge he saw was simultaneously passed on to the Avatar Brigade. Naruto left the hospital and returned home until the afterglow of the sun illuminated the earth. I understand all the information that should be understood. It depends on the results of the avatars. Naruto meditates and puts himself in a state of tranquility. Arrived the next morning. On the way home after morning exercise, a blocker appeared in front of Naruto. The visitor wears an animal mask, a costume of Anbu. Uzumaki Naruto, please go to the Hokage building immediately, Lord Hokage is looking for you. After Anbu finished speaking, he disappeared directly in place. Naruto frowned slightly upon hearing this. Nothing has happened recently. Why did third generation suddenly seek him out? With a hint of doubt, Naruto went straight to Hokage's office. After knocking on the door and entering, Naruto found that there was only third generation inside. Here we come. Third generation always had a friendly smile on his face. At this time, he was looking at Naruto with a smile. How's your new year going? Naruto immediately showed a happy smile. I'm very happy, everyone is like my family. Third generation said with a smile. Really? As long as you are happy. You are doing well. But the whole village suddenly started preparations ahead of schedule, and I don't know how busy my side has become. Application forms for various activities, increase in patrol manpower, and maintenance of law and order, etc. Fortunately, Uchiha is still there. Third generation sighed in his heart. If Itachi succeeded in that night and completely eradicated Uchiha, if Naruto did it again, the village might not have enough manpower. 
But this time Naruto came here, not for these trivial matters. After recovering, third generation asked. I heard that you just finished New Year's Eve, so you went to practice right away? Although hard work is a good thing, but during the rare spring festival, it's better to take a good rest, right? Naruto put a smile on his face, and immediately said seriously. Then how? The spring festival has passed, even if you are happy, the past is the past. We can't cling to the past, but look to the future. We want to move forward, not backward. After the spring festival, it is natural to practice more seriously. The smile on third generation's face stiffened. My heart is madly complaining. It is your mentality that has caused everyone to have an uneasy life this year. All of them went out to practice on the fifth day of junior high school. The sound of explosions is everywhere in the forest. I don't know how much trouble I have given to the patrolling people. Certainly. Tukau returned to Tukau, third generation will definitely not say so on the bright side. After all, Naruto's idea can't be wrong, it's just that their understanding is different. Third generation has no need and no qualification to ask Naruto not to do this kind of thing. After coughing lightly and clearing his throat, third generation continued to ask. Is that why you haven't been home for 15 days? Because you have to practice harder. Then you have worked so hard. What have you achieved recently? The news Anbu sent only said that Naruto was practicing. To be honest, third generation can no longer understand Naruto's strength. After all, Naruto's strength is changing too fast. Caught the third generation off guard, Naruto said frankly. In addition to consolidating the basic ninjutsu I have learned, I have just learned medical ninjutsu recently. But it has just begun, and there is still a long way to go before getting started. Third generation was a little surprised, but also a little curious. Medical ninjutsu? Can you show it for me? Although I am not particularly skilled in medical ninjutsu, I have taught students like Tsunade. Just let me take a look and tell you if you are suitable. As Dr. Ninja, third generation naturally knows that medical ninjas cannot be achieved casually. To become a medical ninja, very high chakra control is required. If even chakra cannot be precisely controlled, it will not be saving people, but killing people. After speaking, third generation looked at Naruto, or Naruto's hands, expectantly. Most medical ninjutsu needs to be performed with both hands. Such as healing jutsu, chakra scalpel and so on. Then, third generation saw Naruto's hands suddenly enlarged in front of his eyes. Not only that, but there is also a handful of kanai in his hand. Swish. Unexpectedly, it scratched third generation's clothes deeply and left a deep wound on third generation's chest. The blood sprayed out as if he didn't want money, obviously hurting the artery. Third generation's eyes widened, his face full of horror. Why? Didn't you mean to show medical ninjutsu? What is this for? Is this Naruto in front of him a spy in disguise? You deliberately said medical ninjutsu just to make me relax ye? In this short moment, various bad thoughts flash through third generation's mind. My heart is even more ashamed. I thought I was going to die here. However, third generation would never have thought of it. Naruto did this in order to comply with the words of the third generation and demonstrate medical ninjutsu. Demonstrating medical ninjutsu naturally requires wounds. With Naruto's system, if the wound is small, it will heal before the treatment itself. If the wound is too big, Naruto is not a person who likes to hurt himself. Therefore, there is only third generation besides Naruto present. Naturally, Naruto could only choose third generation as a template to demonstrate medical ninjutsu. After piercing third generation's chest, Naruto immediately stepped forward, with one hand covered with thick green chakra, which is the basis of medical ninjutsu, healing jutsu. Naruto used this to stop the bleeding of third generation and the other hand controlled chakra to form a thread factory. Under Naruto's control, the front end of this thin line is very sharp. Almost in the blink of an eye, it perfectly passed through both ends of the wound, forming a neat net. Then the thin thread shrank, and the wound gathered up, and it looked as if there was no wound. Under the treatment of healing jutsu, all the wounds healed very quickly without even leaving any scars. The third generation stared dumbfounded, not even having the chance to scream. This, only then did third generation understand why Naruto wanted to cut him. 
Also, it takes wounds to demonstrate medical ninjutsu. There were only me and Naruto at the scene, so naturally Naruto, who was showing medical ninjutsu, could not get a wound on himself. That's why Naruto cut me. It seems that I am worrying too much. Naruto simply wants to demonstrate medical ninjutsu. Third generation nodded secretly, all the previous guesses were forgotten by him. Is this the medical ninjutsu you just practiced? Third generation touched his chest, his hands were smooth, without the slightest bump from a wound. Feeling the touch in his hands, third generation still couldn't believe that he had just been cut down to the bone. The most important thing is, Naruto has just practiced. This level has far surpassed most medical ninjas. This speed, even if Gang 567 came personally, I'm afraid it's no more than that. It was so shocking. The key is that Naruto has only just begun to practice. If you continue to improve tomorrow, you may not be able to practice to a certain extent. Fortunately, Naruto is our Konoha man. Thinking happily, third generation stroked his chest with his hands and said with satisfaction. Although it's a bit sudden, your medical ninjutsu is already very grandmaster. Your medical level has surpassed most of the medical ninjas in the village. However, third generation saw Naruto's frown and seemed a little dissatisfied. Third generation's heart skipped a beat, and he said, No way? Are you not satisfied with this? Don't you want to come? Third generation was immediately on guard, in case Naruto really stabbed him again. Then third generation heard Naruto's annoyed voice. How can this be considered a grandmaster? Not to mention the slow speed, there is still so much blood left. My current achievements are still far from getting started. After listening to third generation, I realized what was the reason for the thumping in my heart. Not because Naruto would give him another knife, but because of Naruto's damned modesty. Think back to previous experiences. Whenever Naruto expressed modesty, he would definitely show an extremely exaggerated performance in a few days. Swallowing secretly, third generation asked with some trepidation. Then what level do you think is an entry level? Naruto thought for a while and said. How should I say, he needs to be at Tsunade-sama's level. Third generation shock. Forget it, it won't move anymore. The current third generation is no longer the third generation it once was. The shock that Naruto brought to the third generation has become more and more, and now the third generation has become numb. At this level, it is no longer possible to shock the mind of the third generation. It wasn't even as shocking as before when Naruto cut him without warning. However, it is not easy to reach the level of Tsunade. Tsunade is the number one medical ninja master in the entire ninja world, and he can already be regarded as a doctor according to his level. It turned out that it was just an introduction to you? So what level do you need to reach when you are a grandmaster? The barren mind of the third generation couldn't even imagine the limits of what Naruto thought. Looking at the third generation who was in a daze and remained silent for a long time, Naruto thought for a while and said. Grandpa third generation, if there is nothing else, I will take my leave first. By the way, does grandpa third generation know where Master Tsunade is now? Third generation regained consciousness and said casually. Tsunade, Tsunade is in Pamphlet Street now. After finishing speaking, third generation realized what he said. Wait, you're going to find Tsunade? Naruto nodded. Of course, I want to learn from Master Tsunade at close range, which will definitely be of great help to my medical ninjutsu. Third generation froze in place, watching Naruto leave blankly. After a long time, the third generation sighed. The mood is really complicated. With Naruto gone, you don't need to worry about him coming to scour you. But Naruto is leaving, but I feel empty in my heart, it's hard to say. Well, after leaving the Hokage building, Naruto couldn't help but muttered. Bamboo Street. If Naruto remembers correctly, Pamphlet Street is where Jiraiya and Naruto found Tsunade in the original book. Unexpectedly, Tsunade was already there this time. Knowing the destination, Naruto immediately went home and packed up. When he packed up and went out, he happened to see the Shaokiangs appearing from the other side of the street. Judging by the way they are together, it is obvious that they have just completed training. Seeing Naruto carrying a package, they were stunned. Little Sakura and Ino rushed over worryingly and grabbed Naruto. Where are you going, Naruto-kun? Are you planning to leave the village, Naruto-kun? 
Don't wow. I don't want Naruto kun to leave. Naruto kun, take me away. Naruto has black lines all over his head. Although he did want to leave, it was not what they thought. Others also ran a few steps over. Then I saw little Sakura and Ino crying, and I was shocked, and had a bad guess in my heart. Tooth asked directly. Naruto, are you leaving? Where are you going? Are you coming back? Shikamaru couldn't help but rolled his eyes. There is only Shikamaru and Sasuke in the field and it doesn't make much sense. Shikamaru is aware that Naruto can't leave. After all, Naruto's status is special. Even if Naruto wants to leave, the senior officials in the village will not allow it. Sasuke doesn't worry about that. No matter where Naruto is, he is Sasuke's opponent, and that will not change in any way. Naruto is also helpless. I'm just looking for someone. Hearing Naruto's words, little Sakura and Ino also pulled away from the countless imaginations in their minds. They looked up with tears on their faces. Looking for someone? Looking for someone? Others also let go of their hearts, but then curiosity emerged. After all, Naruto looks like he's going to be out for a while. Who exactly is so important? Another tooth, and asked directly. Who are you looking for? All eyes were on Naruto. Recently, I am very interested in medical ninjutsu, so I want to go to Master Tsunade to learn it. Hearing this, the others didn't respond, but little Sakura and Ino jumped up directly. I also need to go. Take me there, Naruto-kun. The two shouted, but immediately confronted each other again. I'm the only one who can go with Naruto-kun, don't be delusional with your big forehead. What nonsense. I should go with Naruto-kun, Ino Pig, you better stay in Konoha. Naruto's reaction to the two was no surprise. After all, for Konoha's female ninjas, Tsunade is an idol among idols. Outstanding strength, beautiful appearance, and even noble birth. Tsunade is the granddaughter of first Hokage Senju Hashirama. But some apparently don't know who Tsunade is. It's like teeth. Who is Tsunade? As soon as these words came out, Sakura and Ino, who were still at odds with each other, stared at Kiba with horrified eyes. For a moment, Ya felt a huge pressure as if he was facing two big mountains. Shikamaru said helplessly, Although I knew you were stupid, I didn't expect you to be so stupid. Master Tsunade is the granddaughter of first Hokage, one of the legendary Sanin. She's Konoha's hero, little Sakura immediately connected. That's right. Since I was a child, I wanted to be a ninja like Tsunade-sama. Ino also nodded repeatedly. How dare you not know who Master Tsunade is? It seems that you need to learn the history of Konoha. The two pulled Tsunade and forcibly taught the teeth about the history of Tsunade by force. Sasuke said with a frown. I didn't expect you to go back and learn such useless things as medical ninjutsu. Ninja. Just learn powerful ninjutsu. As long as you don't get hurt, medical ninjutsu is useless. Naruto immediately retorted. Who in this world can guarantee that you won't get hurt? And assuming you can't get hurt, but if your best friend is injured and dying, and you don't know medical ninjutsu, then you can only watch him die? Medical ninjutsu is very important. As soon as these words came out, Sasuke was at a loss for words. The young Sasuke naturally doesn't think so much. In Sasuke's view, all you need to do is learn powerful ninjutsu and defeat all enemies. As for the complicated situation, it is too difficult for the current Sasuke. At this time, Hanada said timidly, Well, Naruto-kun, I want to go too, is it 0.9? Naruto nodded. Of course, I think with Hanada's level of delicacy, there must be no problem in learning medical ninjutsu. Neji frowned. Miss, this matter needs to be discussed with the patriarch. Hanada shook her head and said, It doesn't matter, father will definitely understand, after all, there is Naruto-kun. Neji frowned suddenly, but he still said, If miss must go, then I will go too. As a branch house, I will naturally try my best to protect the comfort of the eldest lady. Hanada said with some panic, Neji big brother, you don't have to do this. In Hanada's view, Neji is her big brother, but Neji's attitude is a bit stiff. This made Hanada feel very hurt. Obviously they are members of the same family, why are they divided into clan and branch house? Little Hanada is incomprehensible, I also need to go. 
raised his hand every day and said, There are not many opportunities to meet Master Tsunade, and I must not miss it. With someone taking the lead, others expressed their opinions one after another. That is the legendary Sanin, it would be a great honor to meet him. I really can't wait, what can I learn from Tsunade Sama? In the end, everyone set off with Naruto with high spirits. Naruto also waited for them to pack their bags and follow him. As a result, a group of people set off in a mighty manner, heading towards the short book street on the border of the Land of Fire. On the way, Sakura also asked very curiously, Naruto-kun, is Master Tsunade really in this place called Bamboo Street? Little Sakura held a map in her hand, looking at the marked locations. Why is Master Tsunade in such a remote place? Why doesn't Master Tsunade go back to the village? Facing the question of little Sakura, Naruto is not easy to answer. Could it be that because of the third generation's reason, it didn't fit with Tsunade's philosophy, which caused Tsunade to leave? It's hard to talk about this kind of thing, and it's not good for third generation's reputation. But now, third generation is basically under the control of Naruto, and maintaining the reputation of third generation is beneficial to Naruto. So Naruto thought about it and said, Maybe you want to see other scenery of the Land of Fire? Just like Senior Jiraiya, they don't like to stay in the village, but they are all part of the village. After all, they have fought for the village for most of their lives, so it is understandable to want to enjoy it now. Little Sakura nodded half understanding. Shikamaru rolled his eyes. As one of the members of the family with the highest IQ in Konoha, although Shikamaru doesn't know the ins and outs of the matter, he can definitely see that Naruto is fooling little Sakura. But Shikamaru is a character who is afraid of trouble, so naturally he won't make fun of himself at this time. Along the way, Xiao Qiang's heart was always surrounded by the excitement of meeting the legendary figure. But he did not give up on cultivation, they travel during the day and practice together at night. Leave only a little time to rest, that's all. After walking for about a week, they finally came to Pamphlet Street. In a slightly dim room. The swinging light squeaked, and the light was also swaying left and right, illuminating the solemn faces in the room. Sitting in the center, a big man with one side of his upper body bare and full of tattoos looked around, and then said silently, When the dust settles, by Dingley, everyone, have you already placed your bets? I saw that in the center of the crowd sitting around, two hill like chips had been piled up. One is big and the other is small. The expressions of the others were also very serious. And the most serious one has a beautiful appearance and a heart as broad as the sea. She's already squashed most of her chips. Just point to this one to fight a turnaround. She didn't see the weird smile on the corner of the tattooed man's mouth as the banker. Afterwards, the tattooed man lifted the dice cup tightly held in his hand, revealing the face of a dice. Everyone's eyes immediately focused on the numbers on the dice. After everyone saw it clearly, there was a scene of mourning. How so? This is all my wealth. My God. How am I supposed to live now? And the corner of the beautiful woman's mouth twitched. Tisk, the tattooed man laughed loudly and took all the chips in front of him. 3-3. Three, three, all leopards will be killed. At this moment, everyone except the dealer is a loser. Someone couldn't help complaining. Are you cheating? Otherwise, how could it be possible that every time there are more chips, the chip will come out? The tattooed man laughed and said ha ha. How is it possible? If I dare to cheat, won't this beautiful big sister kill me? The man was just complaining, and stopped talking when he heard what the tattooed man said. Just kept moaning there. And the person who has been turned into a beautiful big sister by a big man with tattoos is exactly the goal of Naruto's trip, Tsunade, one of the Sanin. As a famous big fat sheep, Tsunade can be said to lose every bet. Once Tsunade wins, something bad is bound to happen. It is precisely because of this that every casino likes the arrival of Tsunade very much. Because of her presence, it can be said that no banker dares to cheat, and there is no need to cheat. After all, Tsunade can't win money. Even if other customers follow Tsunade to buy in reverse, there is no need to worry. The situation just now has explained everything. So, no bookmaker would be out thousand with Tsunade. Because there is absolutely no need for it. This is Tsunade's weird physique of losing every bet. And Tsunade has all the qualities of a gambler. At this moment, 
Even if she lost a large amount of money, she didn't have the slightest thought of retreating, she just yelled loudly. Keep going. If you don't have money, go down quickly, don't delay my winning money. The tattooed man secretly smiled in his heart, it should not delay your losing money. When I came to Banju Street, the expectations in my family's heart were not met. Compared to the bustling Konoha, Pamphlet Street is just a place that is bigger than a village but smaller than a town. There are not many people on the street, it feels so broken. Teeth said with some disappointment. Shino answered silently behind him. This is also natural. If you want to say why, it is naturally because this is the border of the country of fire, and it is impossible to have a prosperous town. Tooth suddenly asked strangely. Why can't there be bustling towns on the frontier? Shikamaru rolled his eyes and said. Because it is close to the enemy country, ninjas from the enemy country may surprise us at any time. The manpower to guard the border is already insufficient. If there is an extra large target that needs to be guarded, the manpower will be even more insufficient. Tooth suddenly nodded. But looking at the still somewhat dazed gaze in Ya's eyes, he knew that he definitely didn't understand. Little Sakura looked left and right, and grabbed Naruto with a full face of excitement. Naruto-kun, Naruto-kun, where do you think Master Tsunade is now? Ino is also very excited. I really want to see Master Tsunade sooner. Although Hanada and Tianchen didn't speak, the excitement on their faces was very obvious. It is enough to see Tsunade's status in their hearts. In fact, Naruto doesn't even know where Tsunade is now. Sasuke asked with a frown. Do you have any clues? You can't just come here without knowing anything, right? There must be clues. As for Tsunade's character of a gambler and alcoholic, he is either gambling at this time, or on the way to gambling. Or just get drunk in a tavern. But drinking should be at night, not in broad daylight. After all, Tsunade has to gamble, but Naruto is not in a hurry. Anyway, it's here. Instead of looking for them one by one, it's better to make some noise and let Tsunade come to them. As for how to attract Tsunade, Naruto already had an idea in mind. Of course not. Grandpa third generation only said that Master Tsunade's location is here, but he didn't say how to find it. Sasuke's face suddenly became stinky. Then are we looking for it aimlessly like a headless chicken? Others also focused their attention on Naruto. In their view, Naruto can always come up with many solutions. Naruto put down the backpack he was carrying and said. Of course not. Everyone's eyes lit up, and they all looked at Naruto expectantly, hoping that Naruto could guide them in the direction. Then, they saw that Naruto took out the folding table and chair from his backpack and put it on the ground. Then hang a banner next to it. Little Sakura stared blankly at the words on the banner, and read them softly. Free clinic. What's the meaning? At this moment, Little Sakura's head was filled with big question marks. Not only Little Sakura, but others are also full of question marks at the moment. What is Naruto trying to do? Shikamaru looked at Naruto in surprise. Didn't you say you came to learn medical ninjutsu? But you. Shikamaru pointed to the words on the banner. You've clearly learned it. Naruto said immediately. I just learned a little bit by myself, but it is far from the level of entry. That's why I came to Master Tsunade. Tooth asked curiously. Then what are you planning to do? Do you see a doctor for free? Naruto nodded. That's right, anyway, I can't find Tsunade sama here for the time being. So why don't you consolidate the basic knowledge you've learned? And if you make such a noise here, maybe it will reach Master Tsunade's ears. At that time, Master Tsunade will come to us if he is curious. When everyone heard it, their eyes lit up. Sasuke pouted and said. At least it's better than looking blindly. At this time, a local man saw Naruto's banner and walked over hesitantly. Can you see a doctor here for free? Obviously. This person was attracted by the words, free. Naruto nodded. Yes, please sit down and explain your situation in detail. 11. Saying that, Naruto took out another folding chair and placed it opposite him. When everyone saw that the patient was coming, they immediately looked around curiously. This person is being stared at by so many people, and they are all children, so I feel a little distressed. Well, where is the doctor who saw the doctor? Why didn't you see it? Apparently, this person never thought that it was Naruto who saw the doctor. 
still looking left and right to find a doctor. Little Sakura immediately pointed to Naruto and said. It was Naruto-kun who saw you, Ino also said. Sit down. Mr. Naruto is very powerful, and he will definitely cure your illness. Ino is also talking about running the train. He obviously doesn't even know Naruto's medical level, so he praises him. It's all for the sake of stabilizing the guests and talking nonsense. But it is obvious that the promise of the letter is not attractive to this person at all. This is also normal. Anyone who sees a child setting up a stall and saying that he wants to see a doctor for free, as long as he is a normal person, he will definitely be puzzled. However, the word, free, deeply attracted this person. After all, all his money has just been gambled away. After hesitating for a while, the man finally agreed to see a doctor here. Anyway, just take a look and see if there will be any problems, right? The man thought, sitting on the folding chair. Naruto sat opposite and asked seriously. May I ask what's wrong with you? The man rolled up his sleeves and said. Accidentally made a cut just now, how are you? Hearing the man's words, Naruto looked down at the wound. Call the shots in they too. I saw a 10 centimeter scratch on the man's arm, which was still bleeding. Fortunately, no arteries were injured, so not much blood flowed out. Naruto saw the wound and immediately began to operate. Bloodline was quickly treated with an alcohol swab. Then healing jutsu with one hand and chakra suture with one hand. Almost in the blink of an eye, the wound was tightened, and the blood stopped flowing. Then, as the healing jutsu practiced its power, the wound healed quickly. Not even a wound pocket was left. All right. Naruto lifted healing jutsu, said. The man stared blankly at his smooth as new arm, and stretched out his other hand to caress in disbelief. There was still pain from the wound at the last moment, but in the blink of an eye, the pain was gone, and even the wound was gone. Everything was so unreal, as if the previous wound was just an illusion of this person. And this operation has already fooled everyone. Shikamaru stared blankly at Naruto. Don't you only know the basics? Healing jutsu is an A-level ninjutsu. Naruto said immediately. Of course it's the basics. Have you seen that medical ninja who can't heal jutsu? Shikamaru was speechless. Really? Healing jutsu is almost a must for every medical ninja. But it still exceeded their expectations. Tooth asked inexplicably. You already know healing jutsu, isn't that considered an introduction? Naruto shook his head and said, Of course not. Medical ninjutsu is extensive and profound, and it involves various aspects. I'm just scratching the surface of things. At this time, the cured passerby finally came to his senses. Thank you, thank you. Passersby grabbed Naruto's hand and couldn't help thanking him. His eyes were full of sincerity. If Naruto hadn't healed his injury, he wouldn't be able to go to work for a few days, and naturally he would lose his source of income for a few days. Passersby who just lost all their money in a bet and had no money were still worried about what to do. As a result, he met Naruto and healed his wound in two or three strokes. After thanking you thousands of times, the passersby left happily. After seeing Naruto's miraculous performance, other passersby became interested. But they are not sick or injured, and it is not easy to go to Naruto to see a doctor. Just circle around and wait to see if a second person comes by. Little Sakura looked at Naruto admiringly. As expected of Naruto-kun, you can learn medical ninjutsu so quickly. Ino immediately followed up. Of course, Naruto-kun learns everything very quickly. Naruto smiled and said nothing, looking at the next customer. Shikamaru and the others stood behind Naruto, intending to take a closer look. They don't usually get hurt, at least not injuries that require medical attention. When practicing in normal times, at most, you will consume too much physical strength, or you will have some bumps and bumps. This kind of bandage is just wrapped around it, and it's almost done. There are not many opportunities to watch healing jutsu treatment up close like now. They naturally seized the opportunity to watch. Soon. The second patient arrives. A woman holds a crying child with bloodline on her lap. Apparently just accidentally fell down. Can you take a look at my child? The mother originally wanted to go to the clinic, but she changed her mind when she saw Naruto's treatment on the way. After all, Naruto is free, and the treatment is fast. Please sit down. Naruto gestured for the woman to sit down, 
then looked at the child's wound. For a simple fall, wipe with alcohol cotton with one hand, and treat with healing jutsu with the other. The whole process took no more than two seconds. Almost in the blink of an eye, the wound healed. The child hadn't reacted yet, and was still crying there. The woman looked at the child's wound in amazement. There are no wounds there, it is as smooth as a baby's skin. The woman who couldn't believe it even reached out and touched it. Discovery is not my own illusion. Thanks, thanks. Naruto has black lines all over his head. Doctor is doctor. What does adding a small character in front mean? Look down on people. After thanking her again and again, the woman left with the crying child in her arms. Before the child could react, the wound was already healed. It is too fast. Shikamaru and the others looked dumbfounded again. This is so simple? Isn't that too fast? Even the doctors at Konoha Hospital are not so fast, are they? I didn't even see clearly just now. Not only is the speed fast, but also one mind and two tasks, debridement and treatment at the same time, clear and orderly. It's already at this level, doesn't it even count as an entry? What is the entry level of Naruto? It's Naruto after all, and the requirements must be old. Since I'm here to find Master Tsunade, maybe in Naruto's view, reaching the level of Master Tsunade is the entry point. How is it possible? Master Tsunade is the strongest medical ninja in the entire ninja world. If that is considered an introduction, it is too exaggerated. Then what do you think Naruto did before is not an exaggeration? This the onlookers also blinked, unable to believe what they just saw. So fast? In the blink of an eye, the wound will be healed? This is a miracle doctor. Genius doctor, please help me. My arm has been feeling very stiff recently. Genius doctor, help me first, I have diarrhea after eating everything in the past two days, please take a look. Immediately, onlookers rushed up one after another. Little Sakura and the others rushed out, making everyone look at each other. Come one by one, everyone can watch, don't be crowded. Everyone, don't worry, it's useless to be anxious. Those who make trouble will not be shown. With little Sakura's hard work, after a while of panic, they suddenly became orderly. Soon, there was a long queue in front of the Naruto stall. With a bag in one hand and a pink pig wearing a red vest in the other, there is a string of pearl necklaces around its neck. This person is Tsunade's student and follower, Shizun. Shizun was stunned when he saw the long queue. What's the matter? Is that store running a sale? With a hint of curiosity, Shizun asked the last person in the line. Excuse me, what happened here? Is there a promotion? The man who was questioned turned around and said. There is a doctor with great medical skills who sees the doctor for free. A doctor with great art? Shizun immediately became interested, and went directly across the long line to the front. Then Shizun was dumbfounded again. This, kid? Can children also see a doctor? Shizun never expected that the doctor was a child who was only seven or eight years old. Next to it is another group of children maintaining law and order. Suddenly, Shizun noticed some familiar traces. Is that, the supercilious look of the Hyuga family? A member of the Hyuga family? And Uchiha's family crest, that flirty boy is from the Uchiha family? Then it looks like these children are from Konoha? It's strange, how did they come here? And they are still seeing the doctor for free. Shizun looked at it with interest for a while, and from her professional perspective, she had to admit that Naruto's medical prowess was very strong. What a strong boy, this healing jutsu is stronger than me. When did Konoha become such a powerful kid? Puyu, Shizun lowered his head and looked at the sounding dolphin. Then he saw the bag in his hand. Oops, Master Tsunade is still waiting for me. Only then did Shizun remember why she came out, and hurried towards the house she and Tsunade were renting. However, Naruto and the others were deeply imprinted in her mind. Soon, Shizun ran back. Upon entering, Shizun heard Tsunade's drunken shouting. Shizun, the wine hasn't come yet, with a helpless face, Shizun sighed and walked in with slippers. I'm coming. Shizun has become accustomed to all kinds of bad habits of his master. Shizun took out two bottles of wine from the bag and handed them to the drunken Tsunade. Tsunade, who took the drink, still looked dissatisfied. Why so slow? It made me wait so long. Tun 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 tun, ha. 
It's a blast. Stuffing half of the bottle into his stomach in one breath, Tsunade yelled comfortably, and then looked at Shizun with drunken eyes. Are you lost? Ha ha ha, Shizun, are you lost? Shizun is such a fool to get lost here. Shizun looked helplessly at the drunk Tsunade, sat down and said. I didn't get lost, I just saw an interesting thing. Tsunade suddenly became interested. Oh? Interesting thing. Let's hear it. As she spoke, she picked up the wine bottle and took another big gulp. Shizun briefly explained what he, Wang Zhao, saw. When Shizun said that, Tsunade immediately became interested. You mean, there are a group of little devils from Konoha here to see the doctor for free? And healing jutsu is stronger than you. How is it possible, you should be clear that there is no way for a little devil to master such advanced medical ninjutsu, let alone you as my personal disciple. That being said, there must be something special about those little ghosts. Tsunade was a little moved, but looking at the unfinished wine in his hand, the little move disappeared immediately. Now I don't have time for any brats, I just want to drink. Shizun, come and drink with me. Tsunade's gaze slipped down and landed on Tonko. Well, you want to drink too? Dolphin was startled, jumped out of Shizun's arms, and disappeared in a flash. Tsunade made a cut, and raised the bottle to clink glasses with Shizun. Cheers fly. Boom. Tsunade's head landed heavily on the table, causing Shizun to jump. But soon the snoring came out. Drunk enough to fall asleep? Shizun felt relieved, and then looked at his master with distress and helplessness. Sighing, Shizun silently tidied up the messy table and the wine bottles all over the floor. Then dragged Tsunade into the room and put her to sleep. It took a while for Shizun to tidy up the room. When Tsunade woke up from the hangover, it was already the next morning. Even Tsunade, who is a top medical ninja, cannot bear the effects of the hangover. The whole brain seemed to be knocked hard by a clock, and it became dizzy. The surrounding sounds were amplified several times, drilled into the ears and made Tsunade feel dizzy. Shizun! Shizun! Tsunade yelled loudly. Then noisy footsteps were heard. With a bang, the sliding door was pulled open. Tsunade looked up and saw Shizun walking in with a glass of water in his hand. Master Tsunade, Zhang. Shizun quickly handed over the water glass in his hand. Tsunade gulped it down and felt much better, but only a little. I will never drink again. Speaking words that every hangover alcoholic would never keep, Tsunade propped himself up from the tatami. What time is it now? The curtains were drawn, the sunlight was blocked tightly, and the whole room was pitch black. Tsunade couldn't judge the time, so he could only turn to ask Shizun. Shizun whispered, It's already noon, Master Tsunade. Tsunade replied confusedly. Then I suddenly felt an overwhelming feeling in my stomach. The whole person's complexion changed, and he rushed to the toilet in an instant. Vomit, it was already half an hour later when Tsunade came out of the house. At this time, Tsunade's face was ugly and looked very weak. The double torture of hunger and hungover made Tsunade unbearable. I don't drink anymore. Saying the impossible to comply nonsense again, Tsunade came around a corner. A loud voice suddenly entered Tsunade's ears, causing her to subconsciously cover her ears. What sound? He raised his head with a grim expression, and saw a large group of people lined up in a long row. A group of teenagers and girls are maintaining order. At the end of the queue, there was a blonde boy setting up a stall. Shizun hurriedly followed and said softly, That's what I said yesterday, the kid from Konoha, medical ninjutsu is pretty good. Tsunade frowned. When? Why can't I remember? Shizun is helpless, Tsunade is not in this situation once or twice. It can only be said that Tsunade drank too much. Um, Master Tsunade drank yesterday. Tsunade raised his hand to interrupt Shizun frowning at the blonde boy. This feeling, is the chakra of nine tails. That is, is this guy Minato and Kashina's child? Tsunade looked at Naruto thoughtfully, already recognized Naruto's identity through his own way. He is a child of the fourth generation, Tsunade said softly. Eh? Shizun was dumbfounded. Children of the fourth generation? Jinchuriki of nine tails? Although Tsunade had left Konoha at that time, Tsunade still knew some news that should be known. 
At this moment, Tsunade looked at Naruto with interest. It's really interesting, the old man was so relieved to let him come to such a remote place alone. Shizune hesitated to speak from behind. In fact, he is not alone, those children came with him. But Shizune didn't say that. Because Tsunade's attention is all on Naruto at this time. In other words, on Naruto's treatment techniques. At this time, the people who came to line up were just some simple little questions. For a medical ninja, this is not even a postgraduate entrance examination. What really caught Tsunade's attention was the two people running not far away. The injuries of these two people are different from those of those who lined up. Enough to see if Naruto's medical prowess is what Shizune said. Just when Tsunade's attention was on Naruto, some eyes also fell on Tsunade. It is the majestic chest that is too eye-catching. That big sister has really big breasts. Fang looked at Tsunade in surprise and said. Shikamaru took a look, his eyes widened suddenly, and then he slapped the back of Fang's head with his palm. Idiot. That is the legendary Sanin, Master Tsunade. Fang hugged his head, not caring about getting angry with Shikamaru, and looked at Tsunade with a dazed face. This is Master Tsunade? But she looks younger than my mother. Isn't Tsunade-sama a senior? Shikamaru only knows what Tsunade looks like, and it is naturally unclear why Tsunade looks so young. After all, he is the strongest medical ninja in the entire ninja world. Maybe he has a secret trick to keep him young. Teeth nodded in surprise. That's right. At this time, one after another, someone recognized Tsunade's identity. The little Sakura and Ino even hugged each other excitedly, not at all like they used to be tit for tat. At this moment, they are like little fans who have met their idols, with only longing and timidity in their eyes. The light of the idol is so dazzling that they dare not even get close to it. Hanada and Tianshan also recognized it, and their faces flushed with excitement. But the two couldn't move their feet to say hello to Tsunade. It's just too stressful. The heart beats more than twice as fast as it used to. It feels like it's going to pop out of my throat. Shino looked at Tsunade and said with a little sigh. Is that Tsunade-sama? You look so young. Sasuke turned his head and saw Tsunade standing at the entrance of the alley. Following Tsunade's gaze, he found that Tsunade was staring at Naruto. Sasuke suddenly felt upset. Why are all eyes on Naruto one by one? I'm a genius too. How come no one pays attention to me? Sasuke snorted coldly, turned around and ignored him. Give way. Make way. At this time, an anxious voice with a crying voice came from the queue, attracting everyone's attention. The person standing at the end turned around and said unhappily. Do you know if you have to arrange? However, he didn't finish, and he froze in place. Because behind him, there are two panting people standing. These two people were covered with bloodline, and one of them was even holding a broken arm. Seeing the empty right hand, it was obviously his own arm. The last person in line silently moved out of the way. Others also stepped aside one after another. Everyone is just a small problem, but the two people in front of them are really big problems. If the treatment is delayed because of their relationship, then the feud will be forged. The two ran to Naruto's side while practicing their thanks. Doctor, please help me. Please, help me. The man with the broken arm knelt on the ground and kowtowed to Naruto again and again. The eyes of others fell on Naruto immediately. Shikamaru and their eyes were full of concern. After all, this is a broken arm and the difficulty of treatment is not at the same level as the previous minor illnesses and disasters. The passers-by watching were very curious, wondering whether this young man who suddenly appeared yesterday could heal this injury. There is no shortage of spectators anywhere. Naruto stood up and said with a serious face. Quick. Give me your hand. The man was taken aback for a moment, then said with ecstasy on his face. Thank you. Thank you doctor. He hurriedly struggled to stand up, put the broken arm he was holding on the table, and then stretched out his missing right forearm. Broken arm is also the first time for Naruto. But after such a long time, for Naruto, who has a team of 3,000 clones, it is no longer a big problem. In just a few days, Naruto has the experience of dealing with thousands of severed limbs. Under everyone's attention, Naruto held the severed hand with one hand, and coagulated the chakra silk thread with the other. 
While everyone was waiting for Naruto to start, Naruto raised his head and said to Sasuke who was beside him. Anaesthetization. Sasuke was taken aback for a moment, and then the damn tacit understanding immediately made Sasuke understand what Naruto meant. This inexplicable tacit understanding immediately made Sasuke's face as dark as the bottom of a pot. But Sasuke didn't refuse. Instead, he walked behind the man with the broken arm with a black face, controlled his strength and hit him in the area. This time, everyone was dumbfounded. Shikamaru looked at Sasuke in surprise. I didn't expect the tacit understanding between Sasuke and Naruto to be so good. Naruto just said something, and Sasuke immediately understood. Teeth didn't understand what was going on at all. Didn't you say anesthesia? Why was Sasuke knocked unconscious? Shino said. Because Naruto did not prepare anesthesia, and the amputated arm operation is very painful, which is unbearable for ordinary people. So it's an extraordinary measure to make sure the patient doesn't go into shock from the pain. Neji nodded. Naruto is very thoughtful. It's even more surprising that Sasuke is so cooperative. I thought the relationship between the two of them was not good. Shikamaru said with a smile. Maybe it's because the relationship is not good, so there is such a tacit understanding. How do you say that? The person who knows you best must be your enemy. When everyone heard it, they felt that it was very reasonable, and they couldn't help but nodded silently. Naruto said to his companion who was stunned by the man with the broken arm. I'm worried that he won't be able to bear the pain of the operation. The companion immediately came back to his senses, then nodded again and again and said. Well, you can continue, as long as you can connect Daishan's arm. If Daijon had his arm broken, his family would have no source of income. Naruto said with a relieved smile on his face. Don't worry, it will be fine. It seemed to be supported by Naruto's smile, and the companion's face became more relaxed. Once the anesthesia of the patient is settled, Naruto will not delay any longer. However, this severed arm obviously cannot be sutured directly. Although it is not yet certain why the arm was broken, it was certainly not a cut. The entire wound surface was very uneven, and even some skin tissue was missing. If we use an analogy, this set of arms is more like being torn off from the body by a huge force. This made Naruto a little curious, where did these two people go, and why were they injured so badly? Yes, that's a good name, but Naruto could tell at a glance that he was hurt too. And it's not light either, but first, deal with the patient in front of you. After dealing with this patient named Daishin, it is not too late to deal with another person's injury. Naruto first dealt with the uneven wounds on the section, and cleaned up the sand and stones that did not belong to the wounds. After confirming that there is no other tissue that does not belong to the body on the wound, Naruto starts the formal suturing. Different from wounds on the body, it is only necessary to suture muscles and skin together. Severing limbs requires more and more complex levels to deal with. Blood, bones, muscles, nerves, etc., all need to be handled with care. Especially nerves, if one is not handled properly, even if it is connected, it will not be used. However, for Naruto who has already experienced thousands of times, although it cannot be said that the operation can be done with eyes closed, it is not difficult for Naruto. Taking a deep breath, Naruto's expression froze. Swish. The chakra thread on the hand quickly passed through the wound under Naruto's control. First the bones, then the nerves, muscles, tendons, and finally the skin. The whole process took several minutes. The main reason is that there are too many places that need to be handled carefully. Even Naruto needs to be handled with great care to avoid mistakes. Finally, after confirming that all blood vessels, bones, nerves, and muscles are all connected, Naruto tightens the chakra silk thread. Then I saw that the broken arm was attached to the broken part of Oda's right arm little by little with Naruto's force, and it seemed to fit perfectly. The only thing that is a bit of a shame is that there are some missing pieces around the edge of the wound. There is nothing Naruto can do to help with this. After all, Naruto can't conjure missing skin and muscle tissue out of thin air. After confirming the combination, Naruto pulled the chakra thread with one hand, and the green chakra of healing jutsu emerged from the other hand to start the treatment. Anyone with a discerning eye who sees this scene knows that the treatment is coming to an end. 
The surrounding crowd saw Naruto's almost miraculous sewing skills, and couldn't help opening their mouths in shock. It wasn't just who started to applaud first, as if it was contagious, it quickly swept over everyone present. They clapped vigorously and all looked at Naruto with admiration. Even Shikamaru and the others malfunctioned with everyone, with an unconcealable shock on their faces. It's amazing. They didn't feel much when watching Naruto deal with those minor injuries and illnesses before, they just felt that the speed was quite fast. But now seeing that Naruto connected a person's severed arm in just a few minutes, how could they not be shocked? Naruto is too good. How on earth did he do it? During the Chinese New Year, he obviously didn't know how to do medical ninjutsu, but it's only been a month, and he actually knows such a powerful medical ninjutsu, it's really amazing. Even though I have seen Naruto perform unbelievable miracles many times, I still can't help feeling, Naruto, you are so amazing. Naruto-kun is too powerful. This level of medical ninjutsu may soon catch up with Master Tsunade. Maybe he's reached Tsunade-sama's level, after all, it's Naruto-kun. Shikamaru and the others were shocked by Naruto's medical prowess. Tsunade, who was looking forward to it, was also a little surprised. The strength is really good. As far as the hand stitching skills are concerned, they are about the same as me. No wonder you said Shizun is stronger than you. Shizun nodded repeatedly, looking at Naruto with bright eyes, or Naruto's side that was pulling the chakra silk thread. The ability of this hand to suture with chakra silk thread is really amazing. After a while of treatment, Daijon's severed arm was finally connected. After Naruto immediately wrapped the bandage, Tuan gently lowered the arm. Choji and Xiao Li stepped forward to help lift Oda, who was still under anesthesia, and put him on a cot that had been prepared at one side. This is little Sakura and Ino getting ready. The two careful girls predicted that the patient would need a bed to rest during the operation at Naruto, so they hurriedly made such a simple bed. After watching Oda being moved away, Naruto's eyes fell on his companion who came with him. Okay, your companion has been healed and it's up to you next. The companion froze for a moment, then sat down in a panic, and stretched out the right tail he had been holding tightly. I saw that the man's right hand had two broken fingers, the middle finger and the index finger, and the broken fingers were tightly clenched in the left hand, which looked bloodless at the moment. Naruto frowned. This man's injuries were similar to those of Oda's. They were not regular wounds, and the fractures were full of irregular wounds. Two fingers? The man asked cautiously. Doctor, can I take this? He was worried that he couldn't connect his fingers. After all, fingers are different from broken arms. The nerves and blood vessels on fingers are thinner and more difficult to suture. Ordinary medical ninjas need to use a microscope to suture well. Even Tsunade can only barely fit the finger of an adult. Even Tsunade needs the help of a microscope if it's a child's finger. At this moment, Tsunade looked at Naruto's serious face, a trace of disdain flashed across his face. Since you can see that it's his finger, you shouldn't take it. Are you in trouble now? How are you going to suture him without the help of a microscope? The kid now likes to show off when he has some strength. Tsunade shook his head and sighed with a look of desolation. It seems to be sighing for the young people of the moment. In fact, I just can't understand Naruto's carelessness. After all, the medical ninja is the one who takes responsibility for patients. Now that the next step is to take care of the patients. The premise is not to force yourself. Forcing yourself is irresponsible to patients. Shizun looked at Naruto worriedly from behind. Regardless of Naruto's personality, Shizun admires Shizun for being able to treat others without charging any fees. Her teacher would never do such a thing. This degree of injury is also a small challenge for Naruto. After all, the blood vessels and nerves on the fingers are too thin, and the difficulty of suturing increases linearly. However, Naruto frowned quickly. After all, it's just a small challenge. Caution is required, but there is no need to skip prudence. At this time, Naruto already had countless experiences. Naruto smiled and said, His name is Daishin, what's your name? While speaking, Naruto secretly gave the man a look behind him. The man was a little nervous and didn't notice this. Hearing Naruto's words, he said hastily, My name is Oda, that. Oda's voice paused, and his eyes widened, Oops. I have nothing to say. 
Oda rolled his eyes and passed out. Seeing that Oda's head was about to hit the table, Naruto immediately reached out to catch it. Asterisk 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 and the fallen Oda immediately revealed Sasuke standing behind him, his right hand still not put down. Don't come to me after this kind of thing, Sasuke said with a dark face. Thinking of Naruto's eyes just now, Sasuke felt a chill. Sasuke didn't understand why he could immediately understand Naruto's meaning from Naruto's eyes. Sasuke really couldn't figure out why. And Shikamaru and others have silently praised the tacit understanding between Sasuke and Naruto. Even Sasuke didn't respond to it. What happened in the blink of an eye was really too fast. Rescued the patient's anesthesia problem. Naruto started the treatment immediately. The first thing to do is to clean up the wound, so as not to make mistakes during suturing, or to sew things that should not be sutured into the patient's fingers. After spending a minute cleaning it up, Naruto began his dazzling performance. Because it is used to suture fingers, the chakra threads condensed by Naruto are also very, very thin, even several times smaller than hair. Then under Naruto's control, the chakra thread immediately started flying. Then, the blood vessels and nerves were precisely connected in series, and the bones, muscles and tendons were sutured in a more orderly manner. When the skin was also sutured, the whole operation was even a minute shorter than Ota's suturing the broken arm. Obviously it should be more difficult to continue the severed finger. This is really incredible. This time, without waiting for Naruto to actually fight healing jutsu, just watching Naruto put his two fingers together tightly, the crowd burst into applause, and some booers whistled. Everyone was very excited to see such an astonishing surgery scene with their own eyes. This kind of operation is likely to be a rare event in their life. And Tsunade, at the moment, also looked at Naruto in shock. Although Tsunade can also suture severed fingers. But Naruto's sewing speed still surpassed Tsunade's imagination. In terms of stitching, it's really on par with me. If I remember correctly, Minato's child is only seven years old now? What a surprise. Tsunade sighed here. There was also exclamation from the crowd. This child is a living god of medicine. Medical ninjutsu is number one in the world. And how old is he? Isn't it better when he grows up? That's right. Maybe it's almost time to catch up with Tsunade, one of the legendary Sanin? I haven't seen Tsunadeheim perform medical ninjutsu, but in my opinion, maybe this boy's strength has surpassed Tsunadeheim. It's possible what you said, after all, those two hands just now were really amazing. Indeed, and with his current age, his future must be limitless. Konoha is really talented. How did you see that? Are you from the Land of Fire? Didn't you see those two white eyes? They are members of the Konoha clan, the Hyuga clan. I see. The onlookers were discussing lively. Over there Naruto is still using healing jutsu for the final treatment. And Tsunade's color has been completely gloomy. Just now I was a little bit impressed by Naruto's strength, but this group of onlookers who didn't know anything compared her with Naruto. When my mother was treating patients, this brat hadn't been born yet. 